Welcome to P2. Today we're looking at areas under curves. Now our definite integrals, okay, that integration that we looked at last time, that can allow us to find the area under the curve or a curve. And it will give us the area under the curve between two points. So if I think of two points within my curve, so A and B, then by integrating my f of x here, my curve, um, between B and A will give me this area here. So it's the area between B and A and also limited by the x-axis, essentially. Okay, now we will look at in the next video what happens when this curve goes below the x-axis. But for now, we're just going to stick with the curves, finding the area between the curve, the x-axis, and two, essentially, values, two lines. So this area is the integral from b to a. Those would be my limits, y dx, where y is the function here, the curve. Now, this shouldn't be any more difficult than the the previous set of work in the last video okay just looking at it in a slightly different way in terms of the question but the what you're actually doing is exactly the same so here we've got my diagram 10 plus 11x minus 2x squared here's the look of it is bounded the area of the region now is bounded by the curve the x-axis and the lines x equals 1 and x equals 5 so it's this area here that we're trying to find. Now to do that, it's just a matter of integrating. So we're going to integrate between 5 and 1, as these are our x boundaries. And we are also integrating under this curve, so we need the curve. So 10 plus 11x minus 2x squared. The x. And now it's just the same as before. So integrating this, we get 10x plus 11x squared over 2 minus 2x cubed over 3. And that is, of course, between 5 and 1. And then I want to make sure I substitute 5 in and then substitute 1 in. So we get 10 lots of 5 plus 11 lots of 5 squared over 2 minus 2 lots of 5 cubed over 3. Take away what is essentially 10. It will be 11 over 2 and 2 over 3 there. And this is 2, 6, 8 over 3. Or... 89.3 recurring here. So let's do it to three significant figures. Now don't forget then to just double check in your calculator. So you know put this into your calculator and just double check your answer. And as you can see from mine, the integration is in here. There is my answer and here we have it. Okay, now don't forget as I said before, you need to do this step, then this step, and then you must substitute in, okay, before you get to the final answer. It just ensures you're showing you know exactly what you're doing to get your full marks there, and that the calculator is there just to check your answer, and that you're not actually using it to get your answer. Now, as this is no more difficult than the previous video when we started looking at the definite integrals, I'll only put a couple of questions up for you to try today. Okay, but stay tuned for the next video. That will be a little bit more important.